There are several techniques used to observe extrasolar planets. The most successful is the radial velocity technique. The radial velocity technique is an indirect way to observe a planet. So here we have a star and a planet. The planet exerts gravitational influence on the star, causing the star to orbit around a common center of mass. Now this center of mass is located at a balance point. So if you, manage, if you imagine having a massless rod connecting the star to the planet, the center of mass would be at the balance point in this rod. Now assume that the planet is very dark and not observable, and the star is bright. And we see this star from Earth as orbiting around the center of mass. As this planet moves towards us and away from us, we see this light Doppler shifted as a siren on an ambulance is Doppler shifted as it moves towards and away from us. So as this light moves, as the star moves towards us, the light from the star is blue shifted. And as the star moves away from us, the light from the star is red shifted. Now, by calculating the shift in the wavelength of the light from known emission lines from the star, and the orbit of the period of the star around the center of mass, we can determine the mass of the companion and tell whether or not the companion is a planet. Now, the disadvantage of this method is that it only gives us the minimum mass of the planet, or companion. And so, in some cases, we don't know if it's actually a planet. But it has been, by far, the most successful technique used.